All right, here we are on my channel, and I found something interesting today. I want to show it to you, share it with you, you know. We're going to go to jesuit.org. Here you have this website that's uh, the Jesuits, all the different little stories and recent news and things like that. And It's probably a Jesuit dating site here, too, sodomites together. I'm just kidding, of course, because certainly the Jesuits would never be into sodomy. They're holy Catholic priests and all. Right, but let's go to a thing here. Move to greater love. Isn't that wonderful? Just feel warm and fuzzy all over, don't you? And it's move to greater love. And here, scripture reading. Let's see what we can find here. Reading via the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops website. And it takes you to this website here, United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. And here's uh, some kind of thing. Almost looks probably like uh, from Daniel, the book of Daniel. But over here we have approved translations. Hmm, now I wonder what could be an approved translation from the Catholic Church. Let's click on it. I'm not going to read all this here, but these are the ones that they approve. Approved translations of the Bible. Books of the New Testament, Alba House, Contemporary English Version. Hmm. Contemporary English Version, Book of Psalms, Book of Proverbs. So right there, New Testament, Psalms, Proverbs from the American Bible Society. Isn't that nice? How about the Grail Psalter? Inclusive language version. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. I thought it was a modern apostate uh, churchianity that was doing that. Well, it's, you know, modern apostate churchianity is actually Roman Catholicism with a different name. Here you have New American Bible Revised Edition. New Revised Standard Version, Catholic Edition, National Council of Churches. Oh, that not that wonderful? That's a Protestant Bible translation. Sure it is. How about the Psalms Alba House? Here you go. The Psalms New International Version. New International Version, people. St. Joseph Catholic Edition, Catholic Book Publishing Company. There's an NIV that's a Catholic edition. Well, sure, why not? They all come from the Vatican. The Psalms, St. Joseph New Catholic Version, Catholic Book Publishing Company. Revised Psalms of the New American Bible, so you may believe a translation of the four Gospels. Today's English Version, second edition, American Bible Society. Translation for Early Youth, a translation of the New Testament for Children. Contemporary English version from the American Bible Society. Isn't that just wonderful? I mean, how how wonderful here that they are accepting Protestant translations. No, these are all Catholic, and they always have been Catholic. That's why you should never use them. You should only use the King James Bible. All right? Just incredible. See, the, the whole issue here, uh, folks, is not about this reading or that reading, and let's debate the, the meaning in the Greek text. It's about Roman Catholic perversions of Scripture as opposed to those that come from the godly line, the Textus Receptus line, the King James Bible being the very best that's ever come from the Textus Receptus, the, the one that has produced more fruit than any other. That's why you should be using, reading, believing only the King James Bible if you are an English speaking Christian. And if you are any other nationality that you use any other language, then you should try and find uh, a appropriate translation that matches the King James Bible. That's just the way it is. If you're not using that, if you're using any other version, you're lining up right here. And by the way, the English Standard Version, the New American Standard Version, all those also line up with the readings in these new versions. Just do a little bit of research, you'll find it's true. Just amazing.